What would it take to convince you that the God of the Bible isn't real? This question gets asked a lot from hardcore critics. And I do think that it's a question that we should honestly think about before we give an answer. So stay tuned to hear my answer to this question. This question got really big a few years ago when Ken Ham debated Bill Nye, and one of the audience members asked the question, what would it take to convince you that your worldview is the wrong one? It's a question that I think every humble thinking person should actually think about. And if you think about it, when asked to a Christian, this question totally sucks. In order to ask a Christian this question, you have to presuppose that the Christian worldview isn't true. Because if it were true, especially in the more reformed understanding of the Christian worldview, that's not how God works if you postulate that it's true. And that's not to say that sometimes people don't just stop being Christians. The point is that if you assume Christianity be true, then our belief is a lot less dependent on us and a lot more dependent on the grace of God. Now, I guarantee you that that answer won't satisfy any critic, especially if they realize that the same question can be asked to them without running to a problem like this. And if that's the case, then this question is kind of up to you to answer. It really is a tough question, and it's not something that I figured out entirely myself. But the best answer that I've come up with is that I think if there weren't so many belligerent critics against Christianity in particular, I'd be a lot less inclined to believe. And it's not so much the mere presence of disbelief that bothers me, but it's the way that the belief plays out in our culture. Nine out of 10 times, the arguments that I see against Christianity are ones that either assume it to be false already or misrepresent it to make it look bad so that they can have something to argue against. And to add to it, they don't seem to care very much at all for legitimate biblical scholarship. It seems a lot like they'd much rather criticize the low-hanging fruit within Christianity and just ignore the scholars that exist in the world. It's one thing for any worldview, including Christianity, to predict scrutiny, but it becomes another thing entirely when the criticism that we receive looks a lot more like they want something to be wrong with it instead of actually believing that there's something wrong with it. And if debate was happening the right way, then the Christian worldview would be criticized as it actually is. This doesn't represent all critics by any means, but I'm just explaining what I've observed and that's what affirms what I believe. At least that's one of the things anyways. What are your thoughts on this question? Comment down below, like and subscribe if you wanna see more of what I do on this channel. Thanks so much for watching, thanks for arguing with me, and I'll see you on the next video.